Well, two-thirds of North American birds are at risk of extinction over the next three decades. That startling number comes from the National Audubon Society. They say rising temperatures are making it tough for birds to find suitable homes. That includes here in Central Florida. News 6's Eric Sandoval is forecasting change, showing us which parts of our area are at the greatest risk. This morning we're out at Merritt Island National Wildlife Refuge, just east of Titusville, Florida, just a little bit north of Cape Canaveral. It's one of the premier places in the country to take in nature. And just the interplay of the water and the light and the sky, it's just kind of this constantly shifting canvas with birds just kind of jewels scattered across. It really is a very special landscape. And it's in our own backyard. Oh, here comes a nice spoonbill coming along. Jeffrey Gordon yeah, is the president good. of the American Birding Association. Florida is a great place to be in the winter, that's for darn sure. Yeah. <laughs> so good. He traveled here from Delaware to lead a tour of amateur bird watchers for the Space Coast Birding and Wildlife Festival. We've got tricolored herons, white ibis, snowy egret, great egret, roseate spoonbill. It's like treasure hunting, because um, you never know what you're going to find. Florida, you know, is low lying and has a lot of water. And that's kind of a recipe for life. There's tricolored herons. Little blue herons, roseate spoonbills. But there are fears that recipe is changing. It's so fantastic. According to a study conducted by the Audubon Society, two thirds of the birds in North America are at risk of extinction over the next 30 years due to what they call a global temperature rise. In Florida, the society says 29 species of birds are classified as vulnerable. That includes well-known birds like the whooping crane and sand hill crane. To head it off, they're asking people to urge their members of Congress to support clean energy. I do see differences in the amount of birds. I, um, I do see differences in their distribution. Gordon says birds that nest in the marshes of Brevard and Volusia counties are most at risk because the temperature affects the salt water and the mangroves they live in. Things are definitely changing and it's like we're, we're rolling some pretty big dice. It's, it's hard. It's hard because um, you do see a lot of declines. and. Uh -huh. It's hard to be optimistic. Liz Gordon is Jeffrey's wife. Ooh, all right. Green heron just flew in. She says she sees the declines too, and she hopes it's not too late. You know, they say you don't really appreciate something until it's gone. And I think we have a chance to turn things around, um, but it's gonna actually take people caring. And the more people care, the more it will happen. In Titusville. Oh. Got Woodstork up here. Eric Sandoval, getting results, News 6. The Audubon Society says they're working to get results. On their website, you can search your zip code to find out which birds near you may be threatened. They also have recommendations on what you can do to help stop this. We have a link to that page on our website, along with all of our coverage on the environmental issues affecting Central Florida. All of that is on clickorlando.com slash climate.